Well, everybody, it's James. Um, Cheryl's over talking to everybody at our club meet. So, you guys got me. We have a few char colorful characters that might want to say hello. So, of course, it's Wednesday night, our usual thing. We've got nice old first gen. Get him in the picture, James. I will. We got a little lifted OB set for playing off in the hills. We got a lifted Fozzie here. And I can't remember his name, but that's our friend Daniel's son. We have one of the more rare ones, a right-hand drive postal, first gen. Um, so it's another one of our friends. And, you know, not really a lot going on. We're just kind of hanging out, enjoying the typical Oregon weather. Not too bad right now, but it'll get better. Um, here's one of our other friends. He's got himself a third gen. He's done a few things too. In summertime, he has some nice little uh, vents that go right here. He's done a lot of his own custom work. He has changed out the headlights, put in a set of projectors, and a set of little LED light bar. He's got his hella horns. So, yeah, just a few little things. Um, we're at Sonic, so of course, you know, good food soon. Um, there's another guy here who's newer. Um, haven't seen him before, but he has an epic wrap on his uh, STI. And I think you guys will like it. So I'm going to show you real quick. Let me get the camera spun around. Got a beautiful galaxy on the hood. Love the chameleon. Dodge the rain. So as you can see, he's doing a lot of things to it. Um, we've got one of our ambassadors are out here. You'll find them all over the place. Um, it's actually a pretty good community. So we get a lot of people that our club, we try to do what we can to give back to the community. And so here's another one of our friends, John. You wanna be on video? So this is John. So he's got this uh, nice little lifted Fozzie, if I can get the angle right here. That little red forester, follow me. What is it again? At that little red forester. So you heard it from him? Check it out. He has done a lot from, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get enough light in here. But he's lifted, changed it over. They are fitting a canopy, a little awning on there. And so you guys can get it. That's got his Instagram right there. So feel free, like, follow, all that fun stuff. So not a whole lot of people here yet. And with some of the flooding going on at the different towns here in Oregon, I'm not expecting too many people. Um, we have another little Fozzie here. Just kind of all stock. The Max, actually my 195s were rubbing in the back. Really? I, 195 is the max you can fit on that car. And then... Without spacers. If this old geezer's okay with it. Yeah, what's up? We got Wingnut here. Um, he just recently did a thing to help out some of the veterans that are homeless. Yep. Brought them a lot of cool little things, hygiene stuff. Kind of your basics yeah. that we all take for granted a lot. Paul here actually donated a lot of stuff too. You want to be on? Sure. That's Paul. He helped a lot. He's another one of our long-standing oh, yeah. club members. So, yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah, say hi to YouTube. 
As you can kind of see her in the background, there's the wife. So I'm gonna wrap this up for now, unless we get some more showing up. You know, if you like it, hit the subscribe button. Like have him show the link. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be on. You don't want to talk about what you've done at least. I don't like talking or being on. You can talk about it without being on there. Okay, so we'll go back to the lifted OB you guys saw. So this is the old 98. I've had her for about a year. Got high miles, about 350,000 miles. The daily. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot decided, more than I got. Yeah, that's a lot of miles. <laughs> I decided when I got it that I was going to do something different with it because I've already seen Subies running around that were lifted, so I thought I'd try that. So it's actually an allied armament lift. Okay. Two and a half inches. They're not around anymore. It's an older lift. Um, so that's one of the biggest things that I've done to the car. Just added the rack, chains up there for the winter. And yeah, bumper. And got the high lift, I see. Yeah, kind of a, a lot of people ask me how I even use the high lift on these Subies, which, I mean, I'm all about more, I guess, use than what it looks like. So I always, whenever I use it, I jack it up right underneath here. I just stick the jack under there and lift her up. Factory lift point. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it works, but it kind of scratches it, but whatever. I mean, it has so many miles at this point. It runs good. That's all I care about. It looks good, I'll tell you that much, especially with the lift, because we Thank just you. did one on ours. We picked up a uh, two-inch front, two-and-a-half inch from uh, Subi Lift. Yeah. You know, got a few things to straighten out, because, well, I also changed over to OB struts. And oh, yeah. It kind of ended up taller than planned, <laughs> so I wasn't even able to put in the Forester Springs I picked up for it. Yeah. That's going to come after I get the subframe drop, and then bigger tires. So how much taller did I end up making it? Uh, all totaled almost five and a half inches. No way. On that, yeah, that 96 went from stock height to five and a half inches up. I could just about fit my head between the uh, spare tire or the tire and the wheel well. Nice. So, yeah, another little fun off-road project toy for him. Yeah. Good use for Subarus because, you know, personally, lowering them, not my style. No, just, no. just, I understand it, I get it. Some people love it. If it was a track car, maybe. But it is not that. It is a rally car. So, I'm gonna wrap that up for now, save a little bit of battery. Admire the lift, considering it's a company that's not around anymore, which, well, they were lifting before it was really popular. All right, guys, so I'll holler at you in a little bit. Have fun. I'm gonna go get back to my coffee and visit for a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. We're here with Ethan and Amanda. They're the ones that had that nice wrapped uh, STI I was showing you earlier. So they're gonna talk about it a little bit. All right, so we uh, decided to wrap the car for uh, uh, yeah. IFO. Um, we're kind of just getting new at it. We had another Subaru, but it got the crash. So we uh, decided to actually upgrade and get the STI hatchback. She just loves the hatchback, so I was like, I'll give it a try. Um, and now we're, um, I know what to talk about. Well, what all have you guys done to the car so far? Um, we did the, the wrap, of course, you know, just to get it that nice vibrant color and, you know, be noticeable. Um, we've also done the exhaust. It is uh, NVIDIA and then it's also customized with a, um, a wastegate. Um, so it kind of makes it pretty, pretty loud at times. Um, we've also done the dump valve so we can actually open it up when we want and uh, kind of make it loud. Just kind of make, hopefully win some exhaust competitions, maybe some win some trophies this, this year. Uh, we always like shiny things. Who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. It's, and especially when it's related to cars. Yeah, exactly. and, yeah I mean, kind of have to. Oh, yeah. Um, we currently just put the harness bars back in and we've gone with purple and blue harnesses um, to kind of give it that nice race car look uh, to it because we just like to be more of like showing the car, not racing the car. Um, that's how you more break parts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> breaking parts get expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, yeah, very when expensive. It, when it snowed, we kind of broke one of our wheels, so we just uh, upgraded to uh, uh, inky wheels. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, so. Heck yeah. yeah. Then, uh, it was uh, SSR's wheels, and you know, sadly, then they had to go and uh, uh, inky wheels. 
Um, we have lights in the back. Um, they are more of a safety precaution of like when we're in a tight spot, we turn them on just as we're backing up so people can kind of see us. Yeah, that I've got a little Mazda that it's a nightmare backing up when people don't know yeah, you're there. Especially if you're parked between trucks or SUVs. Oh, yeah. And I want, you know, I'm at the grocery store, it's packed. Yeah. I, want to be able to get out. I had that happen with uh, our Frankenstein backing up. Yeah. Couldn't see through a truck, and this lady just laid on the horn, and then, oh, yeah. you know, quite a few expletives from her and some, you know, explanative uh, hand gestures. Yeah. And, well, <laughs> then she just whipped on by, and, well, I got glared at, and it's like, I, I can't see you. Yeah. Don't get mad. Just, just calm down, exactly. cool your jets. Um, we also have uh, JL subs, the Dub 3s in there with the 1000 watt, uh, I think JL amp also. Uh, nice. We got the fuel pressure regulator changed. Uh, we went with Cobb um, and it nice. has a little gauge um, for that. Um, we did an aftermarket blow-off valve, so we have the atmosphere blow-off valve instead of the recirculating blow-off valve. Nice. Yeah, we get that nice. Um, noticeable. Yeah, noticeable effect. A lot of people seem to like that. Um, we have also the Cobb access port, uh, which kind of gives us that two-step too, so you know, we can kind of get that. A little custom tailoring. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, you have to. It's your exactly. car. You enjoy it. You love it. Exactly. If you can't customize it to what you like, then what's the point? Yeah. We're also tuned by Pre. Um, they did an absolutely great job. Great customer service. I mean, that's where we want to recommend anyone going um, at this point. Um, we haven't quite finished the wrap yet. We're still, we still have to wrap the back. And we're going to finish wrapping the front bumper and the hood. Um, we aren't sticking with the wrap on the hood completely. We're putting the Galaxy theme on the front too, so it'll be a little nice touch to it. We can't wait to see. Yeah. Yes. We have, we have a lot of products coming out. Also, we uh, just started websites. Uh, it used to be SubiLifeJXE.com, and we actually just took the JXE off because we just got uh, SubiLife. So if anyone likes to have a Subaru, um, then you know, check out some products on our website if you want. Um, we have air fresheners coming soon, we have hoodies, we have a lot more, um, and we love to come to the Oregon Subaru meet, um, we're our big, big fans of it. Yeah, it's one of those, the wife won't let me on the website with a credit card for a good reason. <laughs> uh, I, will, I almost am the same about her. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait till you guys get ready to pull out because we'll get some of the exhaust notes so everybody can hear it. Yeah. And so I'm going to sign off for now, hand this back to the wife. Maybe she'll get some uh, talking done of herself. And check out the website. It was subilife.com. Yeah. And yeah, come back. You'll see more. Hopefully when the wrap gets done, we'll get some good video of it. And hopefully not such uh, cruddy weather. We'll get good light. Maybe uh, big northwest even. So. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye. See you guys later. Bye.